All right, today we're going to be showing you how to get a VAPI AI inbound agent for your business in under 10 minutes. How we're gonna do that? Three tools. So the first tool, Twilio.com. Next, VAPI.AI. Third tool, Make.com. And this is a Make scenario that we're going to be using to take call summaries from that VAPI agent and transcribe them directly to your email. So let's jump into it. First thing we need to do is hop over to the Twilio console with Twilio.com. So I'm already logged in here. You can go, go ahead and log in and what you're gonna need to do is get a new number. So you can go ahead and buy a number here and then once you find a number in an area code that you like, go ahead and just buy, buy that number. This is a lovely number from Los Angeles CA. Find one near you, that, that's what I recommend, especially if it's gonna be an inbound number for your business. Find one where your business is located or where you want it to be located. Anyway, I already have a number here, so we're gonna get rolling with that one. And <clears throat> uh, since we already have that number, let's hop over to VAPI. So what we're gonna need to do is import that number into VAPI here. I already did it, but let's show it from the top here just to show y'all guys. Okay, so we're gonna take my number here from Pompano Beach, Florida, copy it, and then we're gonna, so we just, <clears throat> we're gonna import it into VAPI. Here's what we do. So that's the Twilio phone number. Next thing we need is the account SID. How we get that is we go to the account dashboard. Uh, once you're on the dashboard, your account SID will be right here, copy it. Bang, just put, put that right in there. All right, next thing is the auth token. We're going to need the auth token here, copy it. All right, I'm gonna hide that from y'all so y'all don't see it. And then uh, I'm just gonna call this Onyx inbound number, All right? So, yeah, Onyx inbound number. Since we're creating a inbound number for my AI automation agency, it only makes sense. And then, so now we have that number in here, we need to connect it to a VAPI AI assistant, which we're gonna do right here once we have it set up. So before that, we have to go to assistance, create a new assistant. And we're going to copy a script that I have already written right here. So we're gonna take this script. Y'all are gonna get this script in the resources in the comments, as well as a few other things. So we're gonna create a new agent here, call it Onyx Inbound 2, blank template, click the blank template, create the assistant. There we go. All right, now we've got a new blank template for an agent right here. All right, and we're gonna copy that into the system prompt. So yeah, y'all will get this in the comments, but you can see a couple things here that tell you about our business, Onyx AI, custom software solutions for a AI automation agency. We operate from nine to five. That's when we're gonna take calls and not on weekends. That's not when I operate personally, but to the external public, that's when we operate, and that makes sense. So next thing, before we go on, we have to change the model. 3.5 3 is great, but we want the newest, latest, and greatest, and the one that's not gonna cost us too much. So 4.0 mini is the one we want. We're not gonna load anything into the knowledge base at this point, we just want it to answer off the prompt. Lower the temperature slightly to keep it, keep it on script, and then last thing we need to do here is we're going to load in a pre-written first message. So this is the first thing that callers hear when they call in. And we have to make sure that that is an inviting and engaging message. So we already pre-wrote one for you. And the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and publish this. So that is, uh, that, that is all we need to do for the assistant right now. Next thing is we're going to connect that assistant back to our number that we imported into VAPI here. As we can see, when you hit select assistant, it connects it right there. All right. And <clears throat> now that that's connected, we're, we're good to go to move on to the next step. And then that, so that is, so we could call that assistant right now and it would answer our question, our basic questions, but we, currently have no record uh, or way to access that conversation without going into the VAPI dashboard like this and, and finding it out. So the next thing we're, we're gonna wanna do for our business, because we wanna know who's calling in and what was said, we have to connect VAPI to a server URL 
And how we're going to do that is through this area here on the advanced section where we have a server URL. So we're gonna do that with make.com scenario that I've pre-created for you. So this is the scenario right here and it's got a couple things in here. So, but first I'm going to create a new one just to show y'all how, how to do this. So let's go out of here. Let's hit home real quick. And let me just create a new one for y'all. All right, so now that we're creating a new scenario, let's go ahead and what we're gonna do is import that blueprint. This is another resource that you're gonna get in the comments. So go ahead and click that blueprint that we just uploaded or uh, downloaded. So open that up now that that's in here. All right, so now this blueprint is all we need to take uh, the summaries from that that are generated from that Vapi agent and put them in our Gmail. So we have to, all we have to do is create a webhook here and we're just gonna leave that, that name in there, save that. Cool, now we have a server URL that we wanna copy. Take that server URL back to Vapi, copy that in here and publish that again. And then the last thing that we have to do is we have to set up, hit OK, uh, set up our Gmail connection. So it's pretty straightforward to set this up. You want to, it, it, you hit add there, sign in with Google, sign into whatever Google account that you want. I've already done this, so y'all can do that later uh, on, on your own. Name it whatever you want, hit OK, and then you'll end up with a screen like this and uh, you'll so you just have to add a few things in here you're going to want to add a to recipient so this is who the email is going to and i'm just going to add in our uh, our office email here at onyxai onforbiz.com easy enough and then i'm going to change the subject here to olivia since that is the agent that we're creating here. And we're basically drafting an email here that we're going to send to ourselves. So the rest of the email is already, we're sending the when, when the call came in, so that's the timestamp, the full summary of the call, and then here are the caller's details, and then that's it. So last thing we're gonna do is save. Now that the scenario is saved, I'm going to turn it on, and it's just on and ready to go as data arrives. And then let's test it out. Enough talk. You know, let's get it, let's get to it. So there's the inbound phone number. I'm going to go ahead and give that a call. Okay. Hello, this is Olivia from Onyx AI now. Don't freak out, but I'm an assistant created by Onyx AI. But I'm super friendly. How can I help you today? Yep, perfect. I'm going to give that a call. Hello, this is Olivia from Onyx AI now. Don't freak out, but I'm an assistant created by Onyx AI, but I'm super friendly. How can I help you today? Let's start with a simple question. What's your name? Yeah, so my name's Zach and I am your creator. I'm showing the good audience here on YouTube or LinkedIn how, how you work. Hi, Zach. Great to meet you. I'm excited to show everyone how I work. So what specific business needs or solutions are you interested in discussing? Yeah, could you tell the good audience here a little bit about Onyx AI? Absolutely. Onyx AI specializes in creating custom software solutions that leverage AI to automate business processes and streamline operations. Our goal is to help businesses enhance their efficiency and productivity through innovative technology. Whether it's automating repetitive tasks or developing advanced AI-driven applications, we're here to elevate our clients' operations. If anyone has questions or wants to explore solutions, I'm here to help. You said it way better than I said it myself. <laughs> Thank you, Olivia. Thanks. Yeah. You're welcome, Zach. I'm glad you liked it. If anyone has more questions or wants to dive deeper into our services, just let me know I'm here to help. Yeah, so that is Olivia. And yeah, that, that is it. So last, last thing that we're going to do is going to go ahead and 
check check out that new call summary that we just got. So yeah, I'm gonna actually pull that up here. Why not? So that we can just see that, see that right here. So yeah, let's just go and dox my emails real quick so y'all can see what this email is. Right. Opened up. All right, so yeah, exactly what we, what we wanted here. The call came in. Zach, the creator of Onyx AI. So it's the, the spelling's a little different here, but the it sounded good on the call. So that that's all right. I know how to spell my company name. And this is a summary for me, not anyone else. So that's that's perfect. Provides a concise overview of Onyx AI services, highlighting their focus on custom AI driven software solutions for business automation and efficiency improvement. Then we've got my phone number there. It just just as we as we want it. But yeah, so that is the full solution from top to bottom. And uh, yeah, this is how you can easily set this up for your business. Anyway, thank y'all so much. If you like solutions like this, go ahead and smash that like button and smash that follow button while you're at it. All right, bye.